Good evening for Madison Community Television and Daniel Hand High School Tiger Football. This is Kent Sprague with Frank Tordoff beside me, Paul, Cam Paul Sprague, and Steve Fuse behind the camera tonight. We are doing the Class M Championship game between the Daniel Hand High School Tigers and the New Canaan team. And this game is played in the Strong Field in West Haven, Connecticut. Uh, Frank, uh, it's redundant to say this is a, a very good team that Hand is playing tonight <laughs> because they uh, should be ranked ahead of Hand in most categories. They, I believe they're ranked in front of Hand in every category. Matter of fact, they're ranked in front of almost everybody in all categories. Uh, they're rated number one power rating in the state. They're about number two or three rating in the different polls around the state. Uh, New Canaan was one of the preseason favorites for the state. So, yeah, they've got a lot going for them in this game. Uh, the statistics tell it too. The front line is six, six foot two on average with 235 pounds of uh, beef. And uh, they have one of the best running backs in the state, a young man by the name of Silvestri. And uh, boy, they've got a lot going for them. So it's going to be an exciting ball game. We've got a lot of seniors, by the way. That's another thing. 18 seniors on their team as opposed to about seven for Hand. Hand is made up of juniors as opposed to a senior team. So. Well, and we will watch this young man named uh, Chris Silvestri. He has uh, 26 touchdowns on the season and has rushed for over 1,600 yards. Hand has Eric Hamill and Mike Burrell with both over 1,000, but uh, they have a superstar here, Frank. Yeah, they really have and, and all that sort of thing. So it should be a very interesting game. Both teams playing very much the same. When most of our fans get to see this game, we'll all know the outcome of it. But right now it's exciting. The hand band's coming on the field. And it's uh, just one of those situations. It's a lot of fun to be here. If we were back at September 17th and somebody said, uh, where will be we be on the evening of the 3rd of December? No one would have said we'd be here at Strong Field at this game. No one. <laughs> we're about 20 minutes ahead of the kickoff for the game. Uh, we will uh, pick this game up with two cameras. We'll have one down on the sideline and we'll edit in some uh, sideline shots as we go. And it should be a very interesting ball game. We will bring everything to you that we can, and uh, including the band, the cheerleaders, some of the fans, and of course the game. Be right back at you.
Folks, here we are in the sidelines of this championship game, 1993. But what I'd like to do is introduce you to one of the captains of the last state championship team, Mr. Jim Devine. Jim, how you doing? Pretty good. Okay, Jim. I'd like to know, this must give you some whoops, excuse me. <laughs> How about a little closer, Paul? <laughs> what we'd like to do is, what, what kind of ideas do you have that may be hitting you from, from what you felt four years ago? Uh, I just think they're going to come out and be all pumped up and start smacking people and do all right. Do you think, I think we'll come out with a, a victory tonight. Do, do you have any quotes as far as what, what kind of prediction you have for the, uh, uh, for the score? Know. It's going to be a close game, but uh, I think we'll pull it off. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Jim. See you later. Okay, we want to thank Jimmy for that. We're going to try to get some other people down here on the sidelines just before the coin toss. As you can see from this camera angle, what you're looking at is the hand band, the hand players have just come running through and uh, uh, everybody getting excited for this championship game. As we said earlier, nobody would have expected a hand was going to be here this year and we're all excited for it. Uh, the other side of the field is New Canaan. You're not going to see that angle too awfully much today. But uh, nonetheless, here we are. Take a look at the field. We'll be trying to get all kinds of sideline shots for you. Well, good good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is, Justin. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Does this bring back memories of four uh, years ago? It certainly does. It <laughs> certainly does. I'm proud to be here. I came all, all the way right. from Virginia. I commuted eight hours to be here tonight. Hey, now, that's that's something right there. Yeah. Justin was the quarterback on the 1989 state championship team. And as he's telling everybody, he came here to root on the gang and try to get another banner for the yeah, team. Yeah, we, we want to be uh, six and four. We're five and four right now. I thought thought we'd have the state championship flags here tonight. They, they didn't make it, but so far we've been five and four, and we're looking for another one beating New Canaan, another one of those preppy boy schools. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, can you make any analogies from what you know of this team this year to your team in uh, '89? Well, I know this team. I mean, as you look out on the field, you can recognize that there, there's not a whole lot of numbers and. Uh, we, we came to the same field, we played West Haven with 19 my, uh, my junior year, and that was the year that we went to the state championships. So, as you can see, these guys are playing a lot of heart. They got talent at the specialty positions, and they're playing with a lot of heart. A lot of guys have to go both ways. A lot of guys they? go both ways. It's tough, but, you know, as you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a strong tradition. There's a lot of Tiger pride, and, and we're hoping to pull this one out tonight. Yeah, good to have you here with us, right, Justin. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming. Take care. Hey, Carol, you, are we rolling here, are we? This is okay. exciting. Very exciting, Carol. What do you think? Any predictions for tonight? Well, I like what the boys said, that the New Canaan team is only 17 and 16-year-olds, and they are no different than we are. The boys are ready for this game. Wonderful. Now, everybody that doesn't know Carol Lawler Mason, who I called wrong last game. Yeah, I noticed that. Right? <laughs> I, I transposed names. Uh, has two young men out there in the field tonight. Be watching number 72 and 34. Co-captains Mike Burrell and Pete Lawler are in the middle of the field for the coin toss uh, just before this game begins. The New Canaan team is lined up out on the field uh, and there are between 50 and 60 people in uniform for New Canaan. Fortunately, they can only play 11 at a time. Hand has won the, the coin toss and will receive and will go from right to left to begin the ball game. Daniel Hand will get the ball first. Class M championship game is about to get underway. The New Canaan Rams will kick off to Hand to begin the game. Hand will be going toward the north.
to receive for hand is Eric Hamill at about the 13-yard line. In front of him are Tom Malik and Peter Lawler. It's a high kick aimed for Hamill. Feels it on the fly at the 12. And a return right up the middle and a good return to the 30. Eric Hamill brings the ball back to the 30 where hand begins this ball game. This will be Hand's first game of the year, played on artificial surface. The uh, AstroTurf of the West Haven High School Stadium in West Haven. And there are some players for um, New Canaan that will be watching. Number 11 uh, playing a safety position is Steve Silvestri. He's a good ball carrier and also their safety with uh, eight interceptions on the year. Gumkowski hands off to Hamill. Hamill breaks the line of scrimmage for five yards to the 35. Also in the defensive line for um, New Canaan, we'll watch number 63, Matt Bear. He's 6'3", 275. He's a big boy and a good one. Second and five for Hand. Run again by Hamill, and he gains uh, one yard, and that's it. With about the 36. Behind right guard, right tackle. Third down and four for Hand. Third and four, we're just underway, no score. And hand it off to the first man, Burrell, and he's gonna be stopped a yard short of a first down at about the 39. So that's gonna bring up a fourth down and about one. Fourth and one at the 39 for hand on the first uh, possession of this game. Tom Hopkins drops back to punt. Hopkins to punt. And New Canaan drops two men back. Number 11 is Silvestri. We will watch this whole game. Hopkins gets away a floater. A tough one to field and a good roll for Hand. It's going to roll down near the uh, 23 where it'll roll dead. So Hand's first possession was three and out with a punt and a good punt by Tom Hopkins. New Canaan takes over for the first, their first possession at the 23. And New, New Canaan runs out of uh, multiple offensive sets, uh, mainly out of an eye formation, which uh, uh, Silvestri is the tailback, man in motion up in front, and there Silvestri is carrying to the left side for the first carry of the game, and he stopped. About a yard or so gain. Well, here I am, Kent. <laughs> Frank just came back from the sideline, all out of wind, climbing on top of the press box. <laughs> That's a long ways around. Well, I was on the other side when it when it had the kickoff, and we got a reason, reasonably good return on that. Kent fans are really excited, Kent. So second and nine for New Canaan. And Silvestri motion out of that tailback position, the hand off to the fullback, and a gain of about three. What we're seeing here, both on the, the first three hand plays and so far in uh, New Canaan, is we're really seeing a probing action, if you will. Trying to get a feel, get their feet on the ground, know what the field is like. Uh, everybody be able to take, uh, let's say, get the butterflies out of their stomach on all the team side here. There, but, there but, are two brothers who uh, also play in the backfield. They're, uh, the name is Amen. It's spelled Amen, but it's pronounced Amen, I understand. And Sylvester carries to the left side. He stopped short of a first down. They were showing pass on that, trying to get the hand spread aside. And, and they did a little bit, but hand didn't bite strongly. Sylvester did try to get it. So if you look at the first three plays, we're both about even so far. That will bring up fourth and uh, close to two for New Canaan at the 31. We are on the New Canaan side of the field, so we will hear more cheering for New Canaan. However, the stands on the other side, Frank, are almost full of hand fans. They certainly are, and a lot of cars still streaming in. Punt formation for New Canaan, and a good kick, an excellent kick, and a fair catch. 
Signaled by uh, Hamill, feel it over his shoulder at about the 20. Yeah, there was a kick and a half right yeah, there. Yeah, a very good punter, it looks like. Whoa. <laughs> he drove uh, that punt over Hamill's head. Good thing he caught it. It might have rolled part of the end zone. Yeah, it very well might have because it was quite a bit like a line drive. And uh, if that had hit the ground, it really would have kept on rolling. Uh, I don't think it would have had the impetus to get in the end zone, but would have really put the hand out. <coughs> so, hand, second possession. We have 7.51 left, first quarter, no score. Pitch to the right to Hamill. Hamill's got the sideline corner and a good gain at there seven or eight yards. Yeah, and he, he, he was headed for that sideline, so instead of trying to make a real hard cut and come up, he just took it out of bounds with a real nice eight or nine yard gain. Oh, they're going to mark it back. Oh he went goodness. out of bounds uh, earlier than I thought he did. Yeah, me too. I, I guess we just couldn't quite see the sideline. They're yeah. marking it about a five yard gain. <laughs> Well, oh, again, this mic is biting me. <laughs> I guess. It won't hurt. <laughs> Second down and about five. And hand it off to Hamill. Should Hamill have should have a first down on that one. Okay, this Crossed the 31. He needed to get to about the 31. It looks like he's near the 32. First down for Hand. That's the first first down of this ball game. Okay, that's good. He's taking it the right side like Hand wants to do most of the time so far. That's where the heavies for uh, the, the biggest people are, right up there for New Canaan. So Mark Gumkowski quarterbacking for Hand. Mike Burrell in the fullback slot. Eric Hamill at tailback. First down, hand it to Hamill. Hamill uh, goes to behind the left tackle this time. Behind Mike Anderson. Dan Larragy was blocking ahead of that one. A lot of resistance. You had Chad Davis sitting out there too, boy. He's, he's come on strong. Chad uh, was not a star at the first of the year, and he's come on real well the last couple of games, making himself a starting position. About three and a half yard gain that time for um, Hamill, one man in the backfield behind um, quarterback Gumkowski. Handed off to Burrell, good gain. Burrell is up uh, just short of a first down, it looks like. Yeah, he really did. He, he, he got through there in real good shape in a normal uh, dive for him. Coming up through the center, there's a man down on the field, but before we talk about that, uh, the last yard or so, again, was Mike just using his strength and uh, pushing forward. So they've got about a yard to go for a first down. We'll bring up a third down play, and we do have a break in the action for an injury timeout to a new Canaan player. Yeah, that was a blow. Go on. All right. We're waiting till the uh, lineman for New Canaan has helped off the field, number 67. We hope he isn't hurt badly. There was a penalty on that last play, a 10-yard uh, blocking below the waist penalty for Hand, so it's going to bring up second and 20. Well, Eric just got about seven or eight of those back. So Eric Hamill to the right gained some of it back, but... Uh, they don't need a lot of mistakes against an excellent team like New Canaan tonight. No, actually, you really can't suffer any mistakes at all because you just don't have that sort of latitude in a game like this. Uh, you've got a team that uh, has come on the way New Canaan has. Third and 15 for hand. This should be normally a passing situation. Kumkowski rolling right, looking to throw. Lawler. He's throwing it and incomplete in and out of the hands of Peter Lawler on the far sideline. A little bit high for him. Uh, yeah, a little bit high, and I, uh, he was being a little bit tentative, Peter was, on that, because he knew he was coming up on the sideline, so I think he wanted to try to make sure he could come down with it and uh, wasn't able to get enough extension. Too bad, because it was there overall. That will bring up fourth and 15, Tom Hopkins punt formation for hand. We have 6-16 left first quarter. No score yet. Each team uh, so far has not done a lot offensively in a punting contest so far. Rush. And Hopkins gets one uh, that's going to be fielded and dropped and bobbled and uh, that's Silvestri. He is tackled at the 46. Boy, the hand did get down nicely on that coverage. Timmy Hevesy being one of the first ones to hit him. Sylvester was able to spin away from him a little bit. but uh, Then Hevesy came back and got in on the tackle the second try. The, that's right. Uh, Big Rob the Brick Mason was in on that also to help slow things down and put things on the ground. So New Canaan's best field position so far in this game. The ball is at the 47. And 
quarterback keeps the ball rolling to the left sideline. Now he's going to throw, and it's dropped on the far sideline. A good pass but right in the receiver's hand, but it is not complete. Well, sir, that, that pass is right there. It's on the numbers. Maybe his vision was a little broken up by uh, hand out there, but uh, that was there. However, it's still second and ten. <laughs> New Canaan has two quarterbacks. Uh, this uh, quarterback is named Steve Benson. The other quarterback uh, had been hurt earlier in the year, and Silvestri uh, is tripped up but falls forward for uh, about four yards. I don't know. Five yards. I don't know if people will be able to really see that. These luckily have gotten that off too, because there was a little bit of a bobble by the, the quarterback on the on the uh, transfer, and uh, he has a little slow getting to Silvestri. Silvestri had to reach behind himself and. Really was hit right then, but he just dove forward for the five yards. So he got almost five yards. Uh, yeah. uh, it shows he had on, nice on balance. A, on a play that yeah. he didn't have that much of a hole. Third down, close to six, and there's a flag. A man was in motion for New Kent in the backfield. That play is going to come back. And finally being tackled by Peter Lawler, but uh, a man moved early in New Kent in backfield, and that penalty will come back against New Canaan. All right. There's a slight break. Now we've had two penalties, one on each side of the side of the ball. That's when you want a penalty on the other guys. That's sure when they do. make a big gain. <laughs> you sure do. And if you notice that was out to Silvestri too. He he slipped out of the into the flat and then kept coming down the field and picked up that pass. Hand did have a nice rush uh, overall on the quarterback though. A little bit slow starting but a nice rush. They will repeat third down, but now it'll be third and uh, close to 11. A little over 10. They're very close to where they started this whole series. And we're inside of five minutes left, first quarter. There's no score yet. Nobody is threatened uh, yet in this game. Now a split backfield by uh, New Canaan. Quarterback still got it, rolling right. And complete pass to Sebastian. He's on the sideline and is knocked down, but a first down for New Canaan. Basically the same play they just had, Ken. It, it looked like it. The quarterback rolled out to the right. Silvestri kept on coming, and uh, you, can, you can see that coming all the way. Uh, I think Han will be able to diagnose that pretty quickly, but that was very effective. So a first down for New Canaan uh, at the 33. It's their deepest penetration so far in this game. New Canaan splits two bend to the left, and it's run right up the middle, and Matt soper has got a hold of him, plus... Uh, half of the rest of the team. Dan Larragy in there, Tom Hopkins. Yeah, the old fullback, that's the first time we've seen him take the play and as we know from all the pregame uh, information, they very, very seldom go that route, but that's kind of one of those keep them honest for games. Hand was not full, the center line held up nicely on that. Gained him about four yards, second and six at the 30. Looking to throw, and it's a pass. And an incomplete pass in and out of the hands of the receiver. Coverage by Ryan Dorez. Ryan Big D Dorez was there, and he had a shot at maybe intercepting that, but it came a little bit further than he thought. But nonetheless, he was there to help interrupt the play. And we'll take it. That receiver is about a foot taller than Ryan Dorez. Yeah, he really is. Third down and six for New Canaan at the 29. And New Cannon has two receivers to the right this time. Uh, rolling and, the other uh, way. Same. The quarterback rolling left, and he's going to keep it. And he's uh, knocked down. Should be short. Looks like short of a first down. Boy, I didn't see who closed on that from hand. That, Boy, was, that was Dol uh, Mac Dolan. Mac Dolan. Boy, he closed on that beautifully. He, he saw the quarterback starting to make it and, uh, and just picked him up and uh, moved out there with an afterburner. Well, here's an interesting play. It's fourth and about two and a half, but they're down to the... Uh, 25 yard line, so no punt here, here I'm sure. Oh, this seems like that'd be good. <coughs> Hand it to your go-to guy and let him make it for you. That's what I would say. Oh, Hand needs to stop this one. Uh, they line up at a full house backfield this time. And the ball is bubble, and Hand will get the ball. The exchange from the center was not clean, and Mike Anderson was right on top of the quarterback as soon as he got the ball. 
Oh, that's neat. That turned it over right there, and uh, that's a nice big turnover. Uh, well, you can see what they were doing. They had a full house. They were probably going to power through with uh, Silvestri coming in behind all the blockers. Uh, probably that, one of the that was the old-fashioned T formation. You betcha. Right? That was T all the way. T for Tordoff. But, uh, <laughs> so Daniel Hand gets the ball back on a break uh, on fourth down play, and it's handed off to Brill on a bit of a counter, and he gains about a yard at most. At most. <clears throat> the... Uh, New Canaan didn't bite on that one at all. New Canaan's uh, main strength, we were told by one of their people before the game here, is that they just do not give up many points. And nobody has scored very much on them all season. Yeah, a matter of fact, I think it was like 48 points the whole season scored against them. And uh, that's being very, very stingy. They, they have scored more points than Hand has this year, and they've given up fewer. Gumkowski is rolling, looking to throw. Now he's bringing it down, and he's got a corner. And Gumkowski's got a good game. He's got a first down. He does indeed. That was a nice keeper. He's looking. He had Bob Duggan out here. He got about an 11-yard gain. He sure did. That was a nice job. Wow. Well, good enough for a hand first down. Right. <clears throat> we'll take that one. That's a great job on, on Mark. Mark Gumkowski rolled left, kept the ball, and took it to the 39 for a first down was in the quarterback he would be a good good running back anyway so he's got uh, he's really getting some great skill out there as a junior Waller and Duggan are split wide uh, Hamill gets the ball in the backfield and some tough yards up the middle but he gained about five tough shots is right and he's broken a couple tackles on the way up for those five yards <coughs> and they're right I mean this uh, new Canaan team has a lot of height a lot of weight in there so not only can they get in there and stay low and drive forward, but by golly, they can get up in the air when they need to do any blocking of passes. Second down and five for Hand at the 45. Hand it off to Burrell, and Burrell is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Woo! That's big number 63, Bear, that uh, met Mike Burrell right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, he, he's the young man, I don't know if you mentioned earlier, that uh, he was the all, most valuable player in the uh, Fairfield County Championship game as a lineman. He, uh, not a lineman most valuable, most valuable player of the game. All I've given so far, uh, Frank, is our program statistics. It says he's 6'3", 275, which is a big boy. Yeah, that'd be a big boy in Nebraska. Kamkowski looking to throw, got him in! Peter Lawler, complete oh, pass right, on the far sideline, first down. We love it, that's gonna keep those uh, linebackers out of ways. It should open up a little bit for him. Nice job. Another first down. Oh, yeah. So oh, I believe that's uh, Hand's first cross of the 50, isn't it, Frank? I'm that's not it. sure. I think it is the first cross of the 50, and that was my man Peter Lawler. Peter Lawler uh, makes the catch, uh, goes out of bounds at the 45, so a first down for Hand. And we're down inside at two minutes left first quarter. Nobody scored yet in this game. That play is stopped before it gets started. Saw some motion on uh, on the defensive side. I don't know if he was drawn off or not, but uh, the uh, flag was thrown right at the line of scrimmage. Motion on hand. Motion finally on hand. <laughs> Mark Gumkowski doesn't quite believe that call. Uh, unless he has his law degree, it won't do him much that's good to uh, come after that. Here we are in the middle of all these New Canaan people and band, and we can hear the hand, hand band all the way over here. We love it. Ball is sitting right at midfield. 150 left in the first quarter. First down and 15 now for him. Peter Lawler, motion to the left, and Gumkowski's rolling this way. Got a good corner, and Gumkowski's going to run on that corner. Goes up to the sideline and a good game. I got him on the 34. Where well, they mark that out? They mark it out short of a first down, however. Well, I think we got a little bit of a short short on that one. It looked like he tipped it another five yards before he went out of bounds from what I saw. I thought that too, but all those black jerseys are covering the sideline in front of us, so I guess the, the line judge had a little bit of look at it than we did. That will bring up uh, second down and uh, about two, a little over two yards to go for first. Kamkowski hands off to Brill, and Brill is lost in there. He's short of a first down. Boy, that was absolutely he gains about a foot. And I don't know how he did that either. <coughs> a lot of beef sitting up there, a lot of beef. Definitely on the stop. Don't get it on the play. Third down and two for him. 
Two receivers split wide right. Tom Hopkins is uh, split the farthest out, and Lawler inside of him, and another dive play, which goes nowhere. And that's Mike Morell again, and he's being met by two or three tacklers on that play. Yeah, and I'll tell you, this, this Kincaid team is, is staying at home very, very well up front, and uh, Hand is not able to move them right now off the line. And, and that's that's a problem because every the linebackers are really playing that for a pass play. Uh, the, the front four were able to hold it down. Here we go, Frank. Fourth down play. Fourth and one for Ham. Got to do it. And a pitch to uh, Hamill on the right side line. Hamill's got that first you down. Bet. You bet. Nice got call. that first down plus nice another call. five. But they stretched out the defense to yeah. make it. They didn't run that one inside. Yeah, I think you're really going to have to do that sort of thing. You only had a yard or so to go, and Hand has been able to get that yard or two. Uh, even when it looks like it's stopped up tight in the middle, a uh, uh, little push, little leverage, and Hand's able to do it. We're coming up to a half a minute left in the first quarter with no score yet, but Hand is now down to the 29, and a pitch to Hamill on the left side, and not much there, about a yard gain. And if Hand hurries, they can get off one more play before the quarter runs out. Well, they're going into the flag, into the wind right now. It's coming directly out of the north, so, you know, maybe this would be in Hand's favor to turn it the other direction for a while. So there the uh, clock just passed 10 seconds, so we'll see if they, if Gumkowski gets the snap before the quarter runs out. I don't believe he's going to make it. We're down to um, one. That's the end of the first quarter. No score in this game. But uh, Hand's deepest penetration, they're down to the 29-yard line. A good defensive struggle so far. Two good defensive teams. Very, very good. This is uh, kind of the way everybody is purporting it would end up being, uh, at least so far this game, one quarter of play, 12 minutes. And uh, we're going to be real proud at this stage of the Hand team, I think. Uh, Hand yeah. has played with these big boys uh, evenly at this point. We'll be back to begin uh, quarter number two. What are some other number, starting numbers for uh... In quarter number two with Tim Hevesy over the ball at center. Mark Gumkowski, quarterback. Mike Burrell, fullback. Eric Hamill, a tailback. Peter Lawler in motion oh. from the flanker position. And Gumkowski keeps the ball, turns the corner. Got a good game going. He's uh, inside the 20 down to about the 18. I call that a first down. Let's hope that he's touched almost us. there for a first down, isn't he? He's almost. It's that looks like it should be a first down from our angle. He needed to make the 19, and it looked like they're spotting at about the 18. Well, what this should be doing is building confidence in the young uh, hand front line. Uh, when I say young, uh, we remember only Chad Davis really up there, and uh, and Matt Soper, the guys with any senior uh, being seniors. I like but, what uh, Mark Gumkowski is doing by uh, keeping the ball around the corners a bit. And there goes Hamill through. He breaks the line of scrimmage, and he's inside the 10 down near the 5. About the seven, it looks like, from here. That was a nice breakthrough. We, we saw the line actually throw their blocks, hold their blocks at the same time and carry it through. They're going to spot that ball at about the, what, eight, Frank? Looks like it. Going to be first and goal right now. First down and goal for the first opportunity to score in this game. And a tight formation with the exception of uh, Guinepero, who split wide left. Hand it off to Hamill, and he gets nowhere. Gains a couple of feet, maybe. I think that's sort of a setup play, is what I think that is, uh, because uh, there wasn't a heck of a lot of activity out on that left side of the line, and uh, we might see something head that way. So second down play and goal from um, now about the seven. And they average a 2.1 yards per carry in each of four, but we're behind that right now. Duggan is split wide left. Hamill Brill behind Gumkowski. And it's pitched to Hamill swinging to the left. And Hamill is met there, gets down to about the six, so he only gains a yard or so. Now he really kind of cut in a little bit early that time. I think uh, Eric was going to you know, try to do a little mathematics on that, that the shortest line between him and the goal is a straight line. <laughs> and I think he really should have been done sort of a par parabolic thing. Would that be what it'd be, Steve? <laughs> Do a little parabolic around the corner. All I know is he got necktied by somebody who was a lot bigger than Mary Campbell was. Well, yeah, 100, Third down 100, at goal. 180 pounds against 270 he doesn't work too well either. Gumkowski rolling left, looking uh, to throw, uh, and the defensive man is right there and throws him in the 
Throws him down at about the 14. Well, that one didn't work too well. So the defensive man was being blocked out wide, and actually, uh, uh, Gumkowski could not get away from that man. No, uh, that's right. The, like you say, the the uh, defender slipped the block to the outside, and that's the way Gumkowski was going. If he had slipped to the inside, then Gumkowski would have gotten around. They spotted it about the 12, but this is a fourth down play, and they need to they need to score to keep the ball here. So Gumkowski rolling to the right. He's got quite a bit of room. Now he throws, and it's knocked down the end zone. A fine defensive play by number 31 of New Canaan, who knocked the ball down in the end zone. And aiming for Peter Lawler on a crossing pattern in the end zone. Well, you know, that really was the play at that point that needed to be called. And uh, uh, unfortunately, there's a little bit too much coverage as Peter was coming across with a man trailing him. Uh, the other man saw where the, the pass was going and came the opposite direction and cut it off. Nice job on his part. So New Canaan uh, turns away hands. First good scoring opportunity. Uh, stops the fourth down play. Gets the ball at about the 12. And they're running to the right. And there goes Silvestri. And uh, good run. Still going. Breaks a couple of tackles. Uh, gains about 15. Let me tell you, this is Mr. Ryan Big D. Doris. Had him by the shoestring and kept pulling on that shoestring until he went down. But that was all that stopped him. They're going to have to wrap this guy up. Uh, he's hard to uh, bring down. So first down play for New Canaan. Wrap him, chain him, and tack him to the carpet. And that's Sylvester again. Uh, Mac Dolan coming right down the line of scrimmage uh, finishes that play off. Yeah, and, and, and Tommy Malik helping him out also. Right there, you saw some good blocking on the offensive line of New Canaan, able to blast that first series of uh, uh, blockers of him out of the way. So New Canaan is showing uh, a strong ground attack here. Uh, got it out of deep in their own territory. They're now up to about the 32. That's their bread and butter is right up the center with that play. It's won it for him all year long. Split backfield and Same. a crossing pattern, and Mac Dolan nice. makes the hit right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, Falls nice. forward for a yard. Nice job by Mac coming around that thing, sighting, sighting that thing down and going after it. Mac, all right. You think Mac will get a dirty uniform tonight? <laughs> no, not tonight. On, uh, okay, <laughs> on fake gas. <laughs> Mother will be happy tonight, Mac. In the defensive line for hand are Tim Hevesy and Mike Salmani and Mike Anderson. And the, and Matt Soper is the fourth one, line the down, down lineman. Line has to stay down, stay low. And a run by Silvestri, and he is knocked down, short of the first down, yep. right at the 35. Yeah, he should be short by about a yard or so. First thing I can carry. So Mac Dolan comes in and stops that play short, fourth and one at the 35. Big Mac has had a couple of nice key tackles during this uh, series. Eric Hamill is back expecting a punt. Great experience for a sophomore, Mac Dolan. He'll learn how to get his uniform dirty, even on a clean field. And Peter Lawler is dropping back uh, the intermediate position to receive New yes. Canaan in punt formation. Watch out for a short hike on this, maybe. They got their good runner, the yeah. blocker, up in front of the punter. You might see that sometime. It's a high punt, high, high punt. relatively Stay short. Stay out of the way, guys. Stay out of the and way. And it bounces backwards. A good hand bounce. Yeah, got it off Knocked five yards. About the 44. All right. Good, good, reasonable field position. Nice defensive move after one, one heavy run by Sylvester, and Hand was able to shut it down. So we're in the middle of the second quarter. And no score. Hand has had the best opportunity to this point. Uh, down to about the 12 or 13, but uh, they were stopped on a fourth down pass in the end zone. Pitch this time to Hamill on the right side, and Hamill is trying to turn the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Knocked over into the uh, New Canaan bench. Uh, by Silvestri. Silvestri's their free safety on defense. One of their best defensive players is his reputation, and... That was, that was strength on strength right there. Eric, Eric Hamill against uh, Silvestri. That was almost a five yard gain for Eric Hamill. Well, we'll take that average. Four and a half yard average on every play, Ken. 
Tight formation for a hand. Winnipero coming to the near side of the field, the short side. And hand off to Hamill. Hamill breaks the line of scrimmage. Got a first down. Boy, the 45. He was just grabbed at about the last minute by one of the linebackers reaching back. Gave enough time for the, uh, again, the safety in corner to come up and nail him. Eric Hamill with about a six yard gain. First down for hand at the 44. Unfortunately, we're not keeping statistics uh, today because we don't have the manpower for it, but uh, uh, Eric's having a nice day so far. Eric is having a very good day. And most of the, um, what he's getting is outside the tackles. Yeah. Um, the tackles and around outside. New Canaan is just too big in that middle. They got three down linemen on defense. And they play about five linebackers. Well, they're playing the way against Tom him Kowski for the run. rolling left. He's got a man after him, and he is thrown down in the backfield. Big loss for him. That's about a seven-yard sack. Boy, he's a, he's a little guy coming in from a, from a safety position, too, and a knife right through there. That's too bad. And had some nice momentum going on that. Big sack right there. Clear back to the 48. That's really what saved uh, so far New Canaan is some big defensive plays. About an eight yard loss on that uh, quarterback sack. Jeez, hands way out of ah. And it takes a, whoo, takes a timeout because they had some confusion on where uh, everybody should be set yeah, they must before have, they got that play started. They certainly didn't hear the play that came in right or something because you had men switching all over the field. So we take a break here with six, six minutes left in the second quarter, no score. <coughs> and took a timeout uh, before they got the last play going. Now they have a second down play, second and long, and Gumkowski looking to throw, overthrown, intercepted. New can intercepts the ball. It was thrown over the head of Dan Gwyneth and a nice interception, a leaping catch. Yeah, there's not much you can say about that. It just simply was an overthrown pass, and the uh, and, and the and the strong safety on that was was playing it deep as uh, uh, to be actually conservative on the play, and the ball came right to him. He did make a nice catch on it, but it's a turnover. New Canaan with the ball back at the 36. Off in the backfield, a gain of uh, a yard or so. Okay, Dan Larry on that, but it was really uh, by Salmani. Now uh, Salmani, that's right. That's my man, Salmani. You know. <laughs> you coached him, have you, Frank? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mike, Mike, and I are. Uh, we think the same. When we go up to the and supper table, we think the same. And you're built similarly. Very similar. He's my man. Because Pete Lawler is my man. About Pete. a two-yard gain on that last play. Second Eric, and eight. Eric Hamill's my man. <laughs> and then Sylvester, he works his way through, and a good run. And down the sideline, and he's got one man to beat. Uh, finally, he's going to go all the way for a touchdown. Peter Lawler tried to cut him off, but uh, that kid is quick. He is fast. I don't know if you can notice it, but part of his, his manner going down there is he did not open it up all the way until somebody threw him, and he sped up. When a man missed him, then he slowed down for the next guy. So he had something left over. That was a very nifty, nifty run. Peter Lawler made contact with him, but was not able to uh, uh, push him out of bounds. So New Canaan scores first with 4.54 left in the second quarter. <clears throat> and the conversion try for New Canaan. Snap back, kicked up, and the kick is good. New Canaan leads hands, seven to nothing.
Duquesne set out, set to kick off back to hand after that long uh, scoring run. Frank, I didn't really get how long that one was, but it was about 60 yards, wasn't it? It was just about 60. That ball is bobbled on a muff kick. Uh, I believe hand has gotten it. Uh, Peter Lawler covered the ball. It looks like. Yeah, he tried to catch that in full stride if he could get some extra yards. It was a short kick. The kicker almost took a divot out of the AstroTurf. And a short spinning kick, and it was uh, fielded and muffed and covered by Peter Lawler. And our hand has to come on strong now. They, they can do it. They've been behind three other times this year, and they, they can do it. They know how to handle it, not to get excited. Ball to 38, and Hamill is hitting the backfield. He probably lost the yard. Eric Hamill going to the left, uh, found nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. He, uh, he, was, he was meant not just behind the line of scrimmage, but he, he, his power moved him right about to the line of scrimmage, but boy, we're lucky to get that set, I think. So second and uh, about 10 and a half yards. Lawler in motion, and Gumkowski rolling, looking to throw. And Gumkowski's got the corner, got a good gain going. And he's up near the 50, and that's a first down. A nice run. Nice Mark run Gumkowski, there. about a 12-yard gain up to midfield, a first down. Yeah, he almost was able to break it, break it loose out of here. Pete Lalo was up here to throw a block for him. No, it wasn't just, just quite wasn't enough time to get by uh, two of the defenders on that. that was, that's about Hand's most effective play to this point, Frank. Uh, Gumkowski rolling out. And a block uh, kicks the end man out wide, and Gumkowski uh, goes down the sideline. Hand it off to Burrell, and Burrell is going forward, still going. He's got a good gain going. Oh, He's got half of the new Canaan team on his back, but he carries it almost 10 yards. Hey, with 235-pound average and six men on his back, that looked like someplace around 1,500 pounds of meat on it. He gained nine yards on that carry. The last uh, about six. Mikey likes it. With some Mikey people hanging like on to it. He likes it like that. He's my man, you know. <laughs> Nine yard gain. We have three minutes left in the uh, first half of this game. Gumkowski looking long, looking for Lawler, and uh, it's under overthrown. Good coverage by New Canaan. No chance to get to the ball. Yeah, that's, that's uh, too bad if uh, the pass was a little shorter or Pete was a little longer. He had some pay dirt. <coughs> but as a New Canaan guy, he was just on a sprint to get back. He didn't know where the ball was. Second in a yard. That's not a bad play, though. Take a shot at a long one. Now they need to pick up the first down. And it's pitched to um, Hamill. Swing to the right. He's got the first down. A good gain. Still going down to the 30. Nice job. <coughs> Boy, I'll tell you, they... they and Hamill's getting some pretty good yardage uh, tonight. That was an uh, over 10-yard gain, 10 or 11 yards. It appears to me that with the New Canaan team is really coming in tight on the center, and that just <coughs> enough hands able to close off the corner and give Eric a little bit of time to get out there. And uh, we need that. We absolutely need that. It gets tough as you get close to the goal line, though. Duggan and Lawler split to the left. Hand it off to the first man, Brill, and he uh, breaks a tackle and takes it forward for a five or six yard gain. Another good gain from one of About a six yard gain by Mike Brill. Quick opener. On, on that hand standpoint, you know, that's going to keep them in tight on the middle because they can't let him have any room either. They know that. So hand is really fighting hard. I'd say in the trenches right now, hand is, hand is really uh, holding their own and then a little bit. It was the big play and it was the turnover that so far has the score on the negative side. So second down and four. Gumkowski rolling left. He's going to keep it. And Gumkowski's got room to run over there. He's got a first down heading for the sideline. And a good gain by Gumkowski. He gains almost 10. Okay, that should be being placed around the 14-yard line, I think. And if it does... Uh, think this way. Think Hand uh, can actually get another first down. So literally if they played for eight plays to get it in the pay dirt at 14 yards. Uh, they can get a first down at the four. We're inside of two minutes left before halftime. Plenty of time for him. And pitch wide to Hamill. So left side and Hamill a good gain down to the five. 
Nice, nice. That should be uh, second down and one yard to go, I think. So Eric Hamill gains uh, about nine yards on the first carry. Boy, I'm, I'm a little surprised that he was able to get so much in that play because he was still deep in the backfield when he took that pitch. But he just mowed it right straight forward. Eric's my man, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's see if you can get Eric in the end zone here. And uh, he's in the end zone, and there's a touchdown for Hand. That's Eric Hamill carries the ball in for Hand's first score. Uh, let me try right behind the uh, blocking on the right side, we got Tim Hevesy and Chad Davis and Matt Soper, Andy Drennan. Uh, hey, Chad Rob Davis Mason. and Matt Soper, they're my men, you know. Rob Mason. Rob Daniel Mason's Hand. my man, too. Daniel Hand scores with 119 left oh, in the first right. half. Jim Willis in to try the con conversion. Come on, big Jimmy. Loosen that foot up. Jim Hevesy puts it back, and Willis kicks it up. And kicks it good. Right. Ball game is tied 7-7 with 119 left. First half, good ball game. Oh, we love it. He came down yard by yard, play by play. It wasn't a big turnover or anything. That they cut him where they were. So Hand could say, hey, in playing this game against this team, that's number two in the state rank some ways, number one other ways, we can play head up with them. Hand's first score, they've gone most of the first half before they were able to get it in the end zone. They answered New Canaan's big play with a touchdown run by Eric Hamill. Tom Hopkins is kicking off, hit the low skitter. It's uh, picked up at about the 23 and run to the right side up to the 31. Nice coverage by Hand. That squib kick came down there, it was touched. It was loose and alive, so uh, New Canaan knew they had to pick that sucker up. And Mark Gumkowski in on that tackle. He not only plays quarterback, but he plays defense. That's something I'd like to say, too, because uh, New Canaan suits up, as we can see on the sidelines. He has 66, 68 is that what it is? players, and there are very few of their men that go both ways, so they have a chance to get rested up. Hands players then are, are on the field, an awful lot of them most of the time. So we're inside of a minute left in the first half, and New Canaan takes the ball, and that's Silvestri, and he's not going much this one. Hand wrapped him up pretty well that time. Mac Dolan's on the bottom of that pile. No, yeah. that's Malik, 30. Yeah, Tommy Malik, he's my man. Tommy Malik. That's the defense, Tommy Malik's my man. So Silvestri got one yard on that one. That's not to say that Mac Dolan isn't my man, you know. <laughs> and we have a half a minute left in the first half. And New Canaan appears to be content to let the clock run. You know, probably run one more play and uh, go and regroup at halftime. And Sylvester is motion out of that tailback position. They're going across the middle. Wow. And it's a complete pass on a long play. Uh, first down and more. And uh, uh, the play carries clear down to the 43. We've got 12 seconds left in the first half. So they've got time to uh, cause some damage here yet. New Canaan calls a timeout. Timeout. Got 12 seconds on the clock before the half. And... Uh, New Cannon runs right out and Quick runs pass. a quick play, and it's uh, intercepted by Gumkowski uh, down around the 20, and they're pushing him backward, but they shouldn't. They should mark that. They've marked that play dead. The whistle blew long before a man took it away from Gumkowski. That was a nice read by Mark out there. You could see where that was coming. Uh, so they're going to give the ball back to Hand uh, on the interception at the 21, and there's only two seconds left on the clock. Not a lot of time to do anything out there, so... Uh, so they let the clock run out before they get another playoff. A very strong defensive first half, Frank. Absolutely a strong defensive first half. If you're going to make that... An offensive storyline on it. It was just a turnover by hand and then a big play by New Canaan. But hand, and on a hand standpoint, the offense has moved well. They've been able to uh, make enough of a hole or, or seal off the corner enough to make make it to the touchdown once. We don't have the numbers, Frank, but uh, I am fairly confident that Hand has uh, considerably more first downs than New Canaan does. Uh, New Canaan, of course, got that close to 60-yard run by their yeah, right. good running back, and that's that's about all they've gotten. And I would have to say time of possession on the hand standpoint, too, if we if we were keeping that. But uh, the big thing is what's on the board, 7-7. Seven, seven. 
So we will have a bit of the halftime activities with the Daniel Hand High School band uh, coming up and then back at you with the second half. Want to put the mics over, guys? Um, yeah. Uh, why don't you uh, wait till the band gets... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Daniel Hand High School Tiger Marching Band is under the direction of Richard Pisano. Watch now as drum majors Angelo Catapano, Matt Cimento, and Liz Milligan lead the band downfield to the Del Shannon 1961 rock and roll hit, Runaway.
halftime show, that Tiger Band and Flag Squad will now perform our school fight song, On Wisconsin. about ready to begin uh, half number two of this uh, Class M championship game between Hand and uh, New Canaan. Hand took the ball to begin the game. They will kick off back to New Canaan to start the second half. Tom Hopkins hits it low and hard. It's bobbled and picked up at the 24 and run to the near side and a uh, good short tackle there. Somebody came in low, Frank, and made a good tackle. That was 58. That's uh, Spagnola. Yeah, Spagnola was in on that and uh... Matt Dolan was in on that, as was Pete the Lawless. <coughs> well, the field announcer gives Pete Lawless all the credit. Pete gets a lot of credit. The other guys need some, too. So as we begin the second half, tied 7-7. New Canaan with two men split to the right and motion to the left. And a run to the left. Right, and wide. here comes our good runner, Silvestri, and he's got the corner. And finally tackled by Lawler, out of bounds, but a big game. Oh, uh, that was a surprise. They've been coming up, coming up center all the time. And they said, oh, we better try to get on the outside of these guys because we're not getting anything through the center. So that's where they went. Chris Silvestri, uh, his secret appears to be that he is excellent at following his blocking. Yes, yeah, you can really see He kind it. of uh, puts it in cruise until he sees the opening, and then he turns it on. And up tight, the motion to the right, and flags are thrown. Flags are thrown in New Canaan's backfield. Bango, bango, we'll take it. All the flags are down, almost turned the field to yellow with all those flags going down. New Canaan, a motion penalty. That will make it first and 15 back across midfield to the 49. Well, you better believe both teams really got talked to in there in the locker rooms over halftime because this is a tough one. High formation and quarterback rolls right. He's keeping it. Matt Soper is pursuing. Now it's passed across. Not caught. Incomplete pass. In and out of the hands of the receiver. Coverage by Hopkins. That was nice pressure by um, Matt Soper out there. Nice pressure. He's done that quite a bit this year. When we start to get some pressure on the quarterback, they don't get time enough to set up well and watch what's going on or be accurate. So yep. Matt Soper at one defensive end, um, Tim Hevesy at the other defensive end. Down in the middle is uh, 74, is Salmani, 76, Mike Anderson. 
quarterback draw, and Silvestri nice. gains nothing. Be third and long. Mike Anderson in on the tackle. Tom Malik up to meet the run. Nice stay at home play by Ann on that. It was a delay. Uh, trying to get everybody to bite on the receivers going out and spreading the defense. And the front four hand just stayed where they needed to be. That will bring up third down, and they gave him a yard gain, so it's third and 14. New Canaan got two men split wide to the right, and Mac Dolan is after the quarterback. A long throw. The hand man is there. It's intercepted by Peter Lawler. Intercepted uh, right in front of the receiver. Good position. Came down with the ball. That was that was good athleticism there by Peter Lawless. <laughs> also some great pressure on the quarterback. Tommy Hopkins on the pressure on the quarterback. And Mac Dolan was uh, storming in from his uh, uh, corner, clear on this side, uh, chasing the quarterback. Yeah, he was. But uh, Lawler had that one zeroed in all the way. Pete DeLawler stole another one. And with the ball back. And Eric Hamill swinging to the left, and a good gain. Right, Runs over right. one man. Gains uh, six or seven. That was Silvestri, the free safety that he hit, had on and pushed him backwards. Nice job by Eric. Eric's my man, you know. <laughs> so he gained a little, a little over seven yards on that run. Eric's my man because he's handsome, not because he's such a good athlete. He reminds me of me, he's so handsome. <laughs> and Hand is going to take a timeout. Didn't like the look of the defense. Uh, you see Mark come up under that ball and take a look around and say, oh, this doesn't look the same as it did last time. Eric Hamill made the call. I believe they were a man short on the field, Frank. So we have a break in the action with the timeout. So Hand has got it organized and we'll try a second down and three play again. Pitch this time to Hamill coming to the right. And Hamill is trying to outrun a man on the corner. Sylvester. That's Sylvester. Uh, hey! Pushing him clear out of bounds. A little late hit down there. I don't like that. <laughs> That's Sylvester. Play it fair, my man. Don't pick Eric, him up. Eric Hamill gave him a pretty good shot the straight arm there well, to uh, drive him out of bounds. Might have first landed, down. Might have landed in the throat, too. <laughs> but, but that's okay for my man. <laughs> Good game by Hand, first down at the 45. And Larragie in at fullback. And Larragie uh, leads Hamill into the hole. Needs about three. Hey, getting some good blocking. I mean, we'll take three, four yards. It's okay. Keep them. Keep them uh, very, very cautious as far as defense goes. If you notice, they're really playing uh, nine men within five yards of that line. So they're ready for that run all the time. Only playing two guys back. That run was to the right behind uh, Rob Mason. And uh, who's the other man on the right side here? Well, you got Soper. Uh, Matt Soper is a tight end on the right side. Run right up the middle. And not much there, about a yard gain. They're not going to get anywhere against uh, And Eric Hamill is getting tackled after about a yard gain. We have ground. a man yeah. down on the ground, and it's a white shirt. Frank, did you see who that was? Did not. Uh, maybe Danny Larrogee. We won't speculate who it, was, who it is until we see him get up, but we do uh, have a break in the action for an injury timeout to a hand player. The injured player for hand is Andy Drennan, who is an offensive guard and also plays defense. Um, he had had an ear injury earlier in the year in the Morgan game, so he may have re-injured his knee. He yeah. is walking very gingerly getting off. Yeah, trainer Bev Volpe taking him off. Tomkowski rolling to the left and being pursued, and he's in oh. trouble. Finally uh, intercepted by New Canaan and brought back near midfield before he pushed out of bounds. Well, that was one of those cases where he really wanted to try to get rid of it is what he wanted to. Mark Gumkowski didn't want to take that big loss and uh, threw a bit of an ill-advised pass. And player wasn't out here, and I think it was uh, Pete Lawler, but there wasn't enough on the ball to get to Pete. Uh, 
I think that was number 31 for New Canaan. That'd be his second pickoff of the night if it was. So the ball to 49, we're at 8.47, left third quarter, tie game, 7-7. And Silvestri dives forward for about uh, three. They gave him a pretty good spot on that one, Frank. <laughs> Jeez, it sure did look like it. I don't know, it was a little mirror action or something on that. So they gave him a full three yards uh, gain on that play. Man's got to hunk it down now so that that, uh, that miscue doesn't come after him. And quarterback still got it rolling this is near side and caught complete pass to Sylvester. First down, down near the 40. Nice read by Pete Lawler, though close quickly, made a nice heads up tackle. Well, the man just caught the ball and Lawler decked him immediately, but it wasn't enough for a first down. New Canaan is moving the ball. Now time to stiffen down their hands, stiffen up. And playing their four man front. And flags are thrown right down the line of scrimmage before the play starts. Hard to say. And that's yeah, going to be a motion again. penalty against New Canaan. That'll give them 15 to first down if they give him a little bit of it more to be able to catch up with them. Sylvester's getting warmed up, it seems, a little bit. And they're going to try to go a little quicker, maybe a little bit more to the outside with him, it seems. Tommy Hopkins and uh, Mac Dolan have to be on their toes out here so they don't get cut. Hopkins and Dolan playing the corners. Tom Malik, Dan Larragie, the inside linebackers. And uh, roll to the right. Hopkins is after a man. Overthrown, incomplete pass. Woo. Good pressure on the quarterback by Hopkins yes, sir, and Dolan. Coming in on him again like that. Now this quarterback, again, is not their first string quarterback all season long. He took over because of an injury. However, I do understand uh, that the kid that's quarterbacking now is a, probably a better passer than the first string that, quarterback. Yeah, that's, that's what the, the pre-game info was, that he is a good passer. Now, uh, he has had the people open out there. He's just not reacting to the pressure on him. That's good. Let's keep that pressure up. It's something the hand has to do. Whenever a hand has put pressure on a quarterback, they've, they've served him well. Second down and 15. Uh, New Canaan splits two people to the right. And it's a draw to Sylvester, heading up the middle, and uh, Hevesy is after him. About a five-yard gain back to the 40. That's right. Going to be third and about seven or eight, nine maybe. No, about ten. Ten, I guess. Yeah, there They're you back uh, where the play started before the penalty. I was drawing a crooked line in my mind out here. <laughs> hey, these lines are straight, Frank. We've seen some fields that we couldn't see any uh, yard sure. markers. Third down and ten for New Canaan. Hold them on this one, guys. Hold them on this one. New Canaan comes out in a split backfield. Passing type Quick. formation. They're oh. going to lay it out to the near side. Oh, complete pass. And a man heading for the end zone. Touchdown, New Canaan. A nice pass laid right into the opening. And that one was not covered very well on defense. Oh, that, was a, that was a beautiful offensive play. You've got to give the devil their due, if you will, or the Rams in this case. But they certainly had that man wide open. That pass was a looping pass. Way high, right on target, no hand player nearby. Son of a gun. So, New Keenan takes the lead with 6.55 left, third quarter. Conversion try coming. Snap back and a kick up. Oh. And it's good, 14 to seven. The kicker hit that one a little low. It barely, yeah. barely made the crossbar. It just but it barely it. made it, yeah. I think a good basketball player could have spiked that. So a hand has to come from behind once again if they expect to win this game. Frank, that uh, drive again, the uh, score was a big play and uh, it was started by a uh, turnover on the interception. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So two interceptions tonight and two touchdowns resulting from those is really what is the score for uh, New Canaan. And the basic defensive hand has been a little hold true, but uh, you can't give away a lot like that. 
Hamill back deep to receive. And it's a hard kick. Uh, Hamill picks it up right at the 15 and uh, return is up the middle. He brings it back to about the 28. That was good coverage by New Canaan. They came down long and hard and uh, able to turn Eric inside and cut him down at the 28. Okay, now Hans got reasonable field position, not, not super. Can't afford any miscues though. Gotta keep rolling. <coughs> We're in the middle of the third quarter and New Canaan has just uh, regained the lead, 14 to seven. Kumkowski rolling to the left and hit behind the line of scrimmage about a three yard loss. Boy, there was nothing there. That linebacker came nice and early on like gangbusters. And that's exactly what he's doing. He, the, the inside linebacker, right side, uh, just held back, held back, until he could see the way, which way the prairie was going, and then cut in between the lead blocker and the pulling blocker. So about a three-yard loss. It'll bring up second down and uh, a little over 13. Pitch this time to Hamill on the left sideline. And he gained about four, but he's back up to the 30. He was taken down hard on that yeah, artificial surface. Yeah, that was uh, one man, one tackle, and he, <coughs> he bulldogged him down. Big boy, uh, number 51 brought him down. Is 6'2", 190. He's a good-sized player. Must have loosened up Eric's flak jacket by look, it's official timeout on the field. We have a short break in the action as Eric Hamill adjusts his pads. This is a third down and about nine for a hand coming up. And they got two men split wide to the uh, near side of the field. And uh, misdirection oh. coming back this way to Peter Lawler, but uh, not much gain. Yeah, that worked well a couple times against Guilford, but there was... Uh, it really wasn't there this time at all. It was a nice try, I suppose. They were trying to make it look like Han was going to pass. Had Hamill and, uh, and uh, Danny going to peril out this way, but... Uh, it's a flanker reverse with uh, Peter Lawler coming out of that flanker position on the far side of the field, but uh, good defense against it. And Han will punt back to New Canaan with five minutes left, third quarter. And Hopkins gets it away. A high, long kick, nice. good nice. kick. And it's going to be fielded about the 25. And uh, good coverage by Hand down there. Uh, 68 was the first man there for Hand, and that's Dan Carroll. Hey, nice coverage, you're right, by Danny Carroll. He got down there and uh, almost could have caught the ball himself. That was a beautiful kick by Tommy. <coughs> now, here we go, we're stiffing that defense now. They take the momentum away, a little bit of momentum in there in the area of uh, New Canaan. They'll try to take it away now. They New Canaan it. with the ball, first down at the 32. And there's motion out of that tailback position and there's not going to be much gain in that position. I don't know what they were Somani trying Somani and Anderson and Hevesy are all right there. All right there. Somani and Anderson on the stop. Well, we've been quite fortunate with the weather tonight. Too. I don't know if we talked about it, but it's, <laughs> it's crisp, but it's not terribly cold. Uh, it's uh, mid 40s, and there's a little bit of a breeze right now. The flag is turned around; it's blowing out of the north. Second down and eight for New Canaan, and a sweep to the near side of the field, and Sylvester uh, is dragged down, and a good tackle made there by Dan Larragie. By Dan Larragie. Nice got one job. hand on him and spun him around. He did. That was a good, strong move by Dan because he really didn't have any leverage. And he gave it at all. He's coming up limping a little bit, but he gave it his all and actually brought him down. So that's a nice move. Third down and, a, and a four or five yards. Third down and about four. You got to realize that what we saw there, too, was a sophomore in Dan Larragie bringing down a, a senior with a heck of a lot of experience. So. Uh, regardless of anything whatsoever, Hans uh, young team is getting a lot of tremendous experience. Just uh, tackled a man that's gained 1,600 yards before sure this did. game already this year. They're down at about four for uh, New Canaan. This is one that, uh, if they can stop it, they have a chance to get the ball back. And it's pitched to Silvestri, and he's got the first down, drags forward, drags Dan Larragay forward, and enough for a first down. Yeah, his blockers came out enough for him, and they were able to get enough 
But Hammond again doesn't quite able to wrap up, but uh, almost, almost had him. First and ten for the Rams from their own 45. Well, Hammond has had quite a year, all told, not just in football, but in all sports. So it's, it's been quite a fall. New Keenan with two receivers to the far side, and, uh, and there goes Silvestri, breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Now he's heading for the sideline, and uh, finally he's going to be tackled down to 15. Ryan Big D Doras! Doras makes a tackle. I saw an illegal well, illegal block there one place, but the referee yeah. didn't see it. Oh, he didn't see it. I saw it too. And I really sprung him. Uh, boy, that man can run, though. He just uh, coasts behind his blocking until he sees the opening, then he uh, accelerates. Very, Excellent run. Yeah, very, very smooth coming through there. Takes his time. So first down for New Canaan to 15, and they're uh, taking a two-hand a little bit on this drive. New man in the backfield. Uh, Mac Dolan comes over to help shut it down. Uh, the uh, Silvestri came out for that play. They got him on the sideline for a play or two, but they'll be sending him right back in. Give him a little breather. Tim, Tim Hevesy in on the tackle, on the bottom of that tackle. Well, the PA announcer just announced a 31 to 14 uh, score that Ledyard is ahead of Guilford in their championship uh, game. I'm picking up some momentum. New Keenan uh, yeah, got him placed to run. He's inside the 10, down to about the 8. It's going to be third and about three. Not much you can say about that. They, uh, right now, the offensive line is getting some holes, and then uh, Sylvester doesn't need a lot of a hole to get some distance in there. I guess they put it down closer to the nine. Third down and two for uh, New Keenan. And they're ahead by seven and threatening to make it bigger. And Sylvester gets a ball and breaks a tackle, takes it to about the two. That should be a first down for New Canaan inside the five. They kept him out of the end zone, but uh, a first down. First down, it only seems uh, virtually inevitable that they're going in. Almost finished this third period. The ball is between the two and the three yard line. And four cracks to get it in the end zone. With about a minute left in the uh, third quarter. And Silvestri takes it in, standing up. Uh, that was in between left tackle, left guard, and uh, ducked right into the end zone. Uh, good blocking ahead of it. Yeah, uh, he really had the blocking there. Hand didn't really lay a hand on him. Uh, uh, that, that was pretty much of a foregone conclusion. And you almost got to say that if they were inside like they were like that with two yards and first down, make them, let them get it quick. <laughs> His hand has got to get him back now. So a hand needs the time on the clock. Official timeout for some reason, but that won't last. Okay, here we go. Still in play. The conversion try by New Canaan. Snap down and okay. kick low and to the side. And that was no good. Okay, that could be a help. Make the score 20 to 7 with 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, what can you say? Like I say, it's almost that time we're better off to have them go in quickly at that point and leave the time on the board for hand to move. Uh, hand really has done an okay job. I, I, I don't think we can really say that they haven't. It's the turnovers again, although this time it was a three or four and out, but uh, two of the three touchdowns have been uh, as a result of those those turnovers. So, let's see what hand is. Hand can hunker down, they're going to be able to do it. we got a full quarter left, a quarter and uh, 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Hand can be explosive also. We've got some explosive players out there. So it's not a time to get the only, down. The only problem is that they're playing a team that has not allowed many points this year. And so far, they've moved the ball quite a bit on New Canaan, but they haven't scored much on them. Well, as a matter of fact, the average uh, points per game allowed by, uh, by New Canaan is four, so hands almost do <laughs> Not that that's enough to win. It certainly isn't at this stage. New Canaan 
Fish taking that time out there. <laughs> Getting that ball in play. And Mark like Hamill it. back deep to receive the kickoff. Low hard kick, uh, feel it on the fly. By Larry Bounder. No, that's uh, Grunapero. Bounces off of a tackler. Takes it to the far sideline, but he cannot turn the corner. Uh, he is actually up a little over the 30, I think. And he actually tried to make it. He's about the 25, it looks like. Hey, well, he tried to get around that back end, but he wasn't able to do it. If he, That's too bad. He was trying hard. So Dan Guinapero takes the uh, low hard kick and uh, tried to turn the corner but uh, was hemmed in. First down for him, they're now trailing 20 to 7. Gumkowski straight back looking to throw and Bing, he uh, gets away from a tackle now he's going up the sideline. Good run by Gumkowski. Great hit out there. And the uh, hand players on the sideline want a late hit out of bounds, but they're not going to get it. That yeah, was really the second time that Ann could have gotten a late hit on, in their favor because uh, one time we had it over on this side, too. How did uh, Mark Gumkowski get out of that tackle? I, I don't know. He spun away it. from uh, it looked like a sure wrap up there and took it to the far sideline and a good game. That's the old keep moving and don't try not to die until you have to, and he did a nice job. They're just short of the 38. Motion Lawler. Oh, and a hand lineman raised up a little bit early. That'll be a five-yard uh, penalty. That was that. Uh, we, don't, we don't call uh, names on the penalties in, the, in the high school ball. That's okay. All right, just get it back, guys. Get it back. First down and 15 now. Grill and uh, Hamill are still in the backfield. That's a, uh, Gimkowski is looking for a quick slant in pass, and now he takes it to the sideline, and he is uh, thrown down, treated rudely on the far sideline. Yeah, he was looking for Tommy Hopkins, and Tommy Hopkins didn't get quite far enough out there. He stopped and did a turnaround, and that's what they were trying to do, but it, uh, it wasn't there. Gained a couple of yards, and that will run out the third quarter with New Canaan now leading 20 to seven. So that was a productive third quarter for New Canaan. They scored twice. Certainly was. We begin the fourth quarter with him needing two scores. Mark Gumkowski rolling to the right and he's got defensive men out there. It's thrown behind Bob Duggan, incomplete pass. Yeah, he had, he had to hurry that a lot faster than he wanted to because again, the defense was pressuring him awful hard going out there. The defense was not going to allow him to make the corner that time, Frank. They uh, were going to turn him in. They sure were. And as a result, and he really wanted to pass. He had uh, Bob Duggan open out there and uh, ended up having to throw it. He actually threw it behind him a little bit. Third down and long, third and 13. Winnipero is put to the left, Lawler to the right. Gumkowski straight back, pretty good blocking. Now Gumkowski is going to take off, and there's a lot of blue shirts there. He's about a yard, but uh, well, they had that one hemmed in. Yeah, they're, they're defending him now. They know that that has worked a lot for him, so they're going to be very, very, very strongly watching Mark on any option play whatsoever. And that's exactly what happened that time. So it's fourth down and an awful long ways. Hand hates to give the ball up, but they may do it. They, I mean, they may not, but no Tommy's in there going to do the catch. Tommy Hopkins back in punt formation, and New Canaan drops two men. I don't think he wants to kick it to Sylvester if he can help it, and the uh, ball comes back on a hop. A short kick, getting over in, not going very far. Not a bad right. bounce, though. Oh, great. Not like a bad bounce. Uh, and no run back. Uh, 
It uh, stopped to the 34. Yeah, I had it looked like it was going to head to the uh, sidelines and very short, but got a nice roll out of it. Well, this is an artificial surface here, so they get a little more roll than they would on muddy ground. That's right. Okay, now Hans, got to get that ball back in a hurry. We're down to 11 minutes left in this ball game, and uh, Hand needs two scores, but right now they don't have the ball. And they're bunching the defense, looking for a run. And Silvestri breaks the line of scrimmage, uh, breaks another tackle, and going down the sideline, Ryan Doris is back there, and also uh, Tommy Hopkins finally trips him up, but throw down to the 20. Boy, oh boy, how did he get through that? <laughs> He just picks his way and cruises. He's a very smooth runner. He really is. You know, we thought that Marcus Campbell for uh, Notre Dame was a pretty good runner, but he was a real Stratford. power runner. Stratford. Huh? Stratford. Stratford. Stratford, right, excuse me. Yeah. He, he has nothing uh, as far as Finesco is compared to this kid. So uh, New Cannon takes the car down to the 20. Yeah, they want to put it away. And Silvestri uh, breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Coming to the near sideline, and he's got the end zone. He's got the corner of the end zone. And that extends um, New Canaan's lead out to a three touchdown lead. Yeah, at this point, you don't want to say it sounds. Uh, yeah, you don't want to say that it's, uh, you know, pretty much put away, but now you play for pride and, and then see what you can do with that. Bring it back, shorten the score. That, that young man really can move through those lines. I, so New Canaan uh, may not uh, be winning the war on first downs, but they've won it on big plays. They sure have. Uh, he's got to also give some credit to his line, I guess, because they must be sealing those blocks and holding them very tightly. And New Canaan comes out to go for two on the conversion. They missed the last one, so they're going to Try two, and it's a pass play, wide open, two-point conversion. And the receiver out there is their key man again, Chris Sylvester, he makes the catch. Well, I don't know if he's going for some sort of record scoring, but they should kind of let him roll it there. I don't know. I would think there'd be a few college uh, coaches uh, interested in seeing how he looks. <laughs> I would certainly say so. Boy, oh boy, they really rolled it in that time. But again, they, they've been able to do pretty much big plays. I would also say maybe at this point that him, who has to send most of the players both ways, offense and defense, may be getting worn down. They are playing a, a group of young men that are not just athletic, but they're big. That's a hard combination to fight. Uh, on top of that, you're playing kids with, a, in most cases, a whole year more experience in a very tough league, the Fairfield County League. So, and guys are still, I'm still proud of them. They're doing a great job. So New Canaan will uh, kick off back to Hand, now leading 28 to seven, and the clock says 10-22 left in the ball game. Drop deep back, back about the 10 in front of him are Malik and Lawler and Guinepero. And it's a long kick this time. Uh, Hamill backs up uh, inside the 10. And a uh, pretty good return. He's trying to return it to the far sideline. And finally pushed out of bounds. And he returns it back to about the 24, it looks yeah, like. That was a, yeah, about that. That was a booming kick, too. He, he was back a good distance on that. So, he huh. caught that ball on the fly at about the eight, it looked like. Yeah. He turned it to near the 25. Well, you gotta, you gotta admit it, New Canaan has a lot of weapons out there. Not only they get a running back, and they have a line that's good, defense excellent, but they can even use a kicking game. And with two receivers put to the left, and a pitch to the right, that's Mike Brill, and Brill has uh, got a man on his back, and there comes a flag in late. I would like to a flag is thrown after the tackle was made. Let's see what that one is. Personal foul. 
First Personal match. foul against New Canaan. Yeah. That'll be an automatic first down. Yeah, it looked to me like it was a late hit or something, really. I'm not sure it was a face mask. Or... Well, that's going to help. I mean, you never like to see that. And, of course, that, call is, that penalty's in there to try to protect the health of the young men out there. And that's a darn good one to have. But, uh, but you'll take the yardage, too. Mike Burrell has uh, really also been fight, fighting it hard. He's had a few good gainers tonight, but uh, well defending it against by, by New Canaan. That referee signal looked like he was indicating that somebody came in and uh, hit him in the head. Late. Yes, yeah, late. I think that probably did. Uh, Gumkowski bobbles the ball a little bit first, and now he completes the pass. That's Peter Lawler, and Lawler's got a first down. Yep. Fights his way forward, gets a first down. Nice play. It looked like uh, Mark had to double clutch that a little bit to get a little bit of grip on the ball, but uh, luckily Peter stayed open long enough and it was right in his chest and uh, take it and got a couple more yards by, uh, by just willpower out there. He was a yard or so short of a first down where he caught the ball, but he uh, was able to take it across the stripe that he needed. And across midfield now, down to the 47. Mark Gumkowski all the way at quarterback. Gumkowski rolling right, looking to throw. Now he's trying to run. Nothing, nothing there. You lost a couple yards. A swarming defense. They're bringing a safety on a safety blitz out there a lot to try to, try to neutralize Mark. It's got to be Chris, and they've got to be efficient out there. Second down and 12 for him. He needs to try to cut into that score a bit. A little more pride, get a little more offense out there. Control the ball more this half. And Gumkowski looking to throw, and complete pass, about an eight-yard gain. Okay, that's all right. The defender kind of slipped a little bit on that, so it's too bad that Peter couldn't stay on his feet. As Lawler makes the catch. Yeah. Uh, Pete's been great all year. When you've had to get a first down a lot of times, you'll be able to pass it to him. He gets himself open, and he can also get some nice yardage after that. Seems like Mark has a lot of confidence to throw it to him also. They need about two and a half yards here for a first down. Pitch this time to Hamill on the right side. Hamill's got the first down, down the sideline. Good gain, out of bounds. Out of bounds, good move. Hamill Stop the clock. All right, nice job. He got all he needed and then some on that one, uh, Ken. He was motoring too when he came down around that. He gained about uh, 12 or 13 on that. Pretty good gain. So Han is moving the ball here. Um, we're down uh, approaching eight minutes left in this ball game. They're behind now, 28 to seven. Kumkowski looking to throw, and he's got there's a man open, that's Peter Lawler. Lawler is pushed out of bounds, down about the 11 yard line, 11 yeah. or 12. Uh, kind of a rough position, but nice, another nice catch by Peter. Mark First down, there. completion from Mark Kumkowski to Peter Lawler at about the 11. Well, there's going to be a challenge for him. This is a tough yardage down here. A 17 yard gain. Hamill swinging to the right. Hesitates now and goes forward. He gained about a yard. Yeah, that's about all he got. So it's, it's going to be tough yardage coming in here. Well, they have enough room to be able to get a first down, but it's got to be inside the two yard line someplace. That's right, they can make a first down down inside the two. Burrell and Hamill in the backfield. And that's Burrell, a counter across the middle uh, down to the five. Pretty nice good job. run. Nice job. So that, that caught the defense a little bit by surprise. They got into the backfield before the, uh, it was brought down. Mike Burrell uh, slants it to the right and um, gains about uh, five yards. Uh, yeah, they, they've been running so much with Hamill out there that they kind of uh, forgot about Mike a little bit, I think. They're down for him. They need uh, three for first down, five for a touchdown. 
and Gumkowski is thinking touchdown, yes. and there it is, complete pass, going to Tommy. Tom Hopkins in the end zone. Nice play, nice play. Touchdown hand from Gumkowski to Hopkins. Tommy got out there in a hurry and then started coming across, and uh, Mark was rolling to that right side as well. Defense kind of collapsed a little bit on him, and Tommy had a, had a nice clear shot out there. Mark stepped up and actually got a little bit of a jump pass. Nice job, guys. So that makes the score 28-13 with a conversion try by Jim Willis. Coming. Well, again, when uh, New Canaan had an average of four points scored against them this year by some very big, very powerful teams, on average, that's all they allowed. And is now triple that. Look for the positive. Jim Willis to try the extra point. Snap by Hevesy, placement by Gumkowski. All right. And a good kick by Jim Willis. Score 28-14. Okay. That's... With seven minutes left in the ball game. Oh, uh, there we go. Nice job. Frank, this is an interesting move here by hand after the touch, their second touchdown. Uh, Mike Anderson has the ball teed up. Yeah, he uh, sure he, does. He's a, another uh, kick him low and hard type <laughs> kicker a lot of times. Yeah, he, he really is. I don't know if they're really going to try an onside kick or not. Nukane is playing it that way. They've got all all uh, high numbers out there. Well, I mean, they've all got uh, receiving, carrying type of numbers out here. Sylvester, of course, is real deep. But everybody else up front are people that are probably comfortable handling the ball. So New Canaan expecting an onside kick and Mike Anderson to kick it off and it is an onside kick and uh, the whole hand team uh, barrels into the man that uh, gets the ball but New Canaan keeps possession. Well, they had to try it. They had to try it. You know, you really don't have much time to, so you're going to have to get, try it every way you can. you got to take a little bit of... Uh, uh, you got to get some gambles out there. Of course, the, the gambling team has led you there. They're winning their game in good shape, apparently. So, with uh, under seven minutes left in this ball game, uh, uh, Duquesne is uh, Silvestri going to the far side. And Eric Hamill brings him down, but not before a long game. And he's got a lot of yardage uh, oh, on some big runs. Let me tell you, he must be going for 200, I think. I, he was over 20 on that one. Yeah, he, he's really laying them down. Uh, I didn't get to see. He's really cutting to the outside on that left. That's where he's done most of his damage this half. He's going just outside a tackle or tight end. I, I haven't really followed it. But. Well, a 23-yard gain down to uh, hands 28. Keep it on the ground and go forward for a couple. Nothing big and nothing uh, heavy on that particular play, just up center. New Canaan is content at this stage of the game to let the clock run. Yeah, let it let it run, dig out the... They're let the to... sand run onto the top, uh, top part of the hourglass. And we're inside of six minutes. What did the witch, the wicked witch say, I'm melting, I'm melting, or something like that? Ball is at 27, second down and eight for New Canaan. Hand it off, and up the middle, and break the tackle, and the man's going to score. And that was a different man for New Canaan, but they broke the tackle or two and took it all the way to the end zone. Yeah, that's probably his first uh, carry of the season, I'd say. Huh? Well, he's a senior. Let's take a look. Name is John Chendowitz or something like that. 5'8", 160 senior, running back, defensive back. We haven't seen him in a lot, so that was probably to give a senior, uh, and he broke through. That was a good run. And Nick Cannon extends to a 20-point lead with a conversion try coming. Is up, and good. Now square through the uprights. So New Can, 
kickoff back. Uh, Eric Hamill backs up third of the ten. Dotson picks it up. And he's going to have a tough time getting behind uh, getting behind all those blue shirts. But he well, takes yeah, it across the 20. Yeah, I, uh, he brings it back about to 21. They certainly are a well-coached club out there because they kind of down through there and they slide the blocks and get deep into the uh, into the receiving area. However, I just, uh, I'll tell you, the scoreboard uh, does not uh, really show the character of the hand team out there now. The score is well out, out of control at the moment, but hand has done a great job, I think, with insurmountable odds against them. Well, is it about the 22? And Gumkowski looking to throw. There's a Lawler he's looking for. And Lawler makes a fine catch he's right in front of a defender. Bounds. And out of bounds. It stops the clock. Nice game. So Lawler went high in the air and shielded himself from the defensive man and caught the ball and went out of bounds. Yes. Let me tell you. That's a, that's We've got a, a nice new cannon ball. man down the way here that... Uh, didn't like that play, I guess. I don't know what he's so excited about with the score the way it is, you know. <laughs> High achievers or something. <laughs> well, at the 42, Gumkowski looking to throw, being rushed again, and he's going to lay it up. Intercepted. Uh, oh, uh, incomplete right. pass, almost intercepted. He was looking for Lawler again, deep okay. down the right sideline. Yeah, it really was, and you know, uh, the, the defender actually had it in his hands and almost was coming down with it, but I think it was jarred loose as he hit the ground, so he didn't have control. You know, Hand would very much like to get into pay dirt and again, just, just to, again, bite into that score of it. Second and 10, the shotgun formation for Gumkowski and uh, uh -huh. aim for Matt Soper, tight end. Son of a gun. Matt Soper has not seen too many passes come his way this year. No, I think that's probably the only one all season, and he was open and it was, Pretty much there. He needed another step, maybe, and, uh, to get good control over it. Third and ten for Hand. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. I would think that New Canaan would be sliding in a lot of subs, but they're not. Uh, shotgun formation, and they're really putting pressure on Gumkowski. He's got room to run on the far sideline. Short of a first down, however. Yeah, but he's close. It's okay. Uh, you know, you're not going to give up the ball anyway, and you wanted to dig into that, so there's still a possibility of getting a first down out there. If you, if you do it hard and quick, and uh, one way or another, get out there and get another fresh floor. Jeez, I, oh, I thought he made it more than that. <laughs> he uh, marked it so that he's got a close to four yards to go for a first down, and Hand will go for it on fourth. The 49-yard line. Pitch to the right. Hamill's got the ball, and Hamill is not going to make it. Hamill run out of bounds short. New Canaan gets the ball back. I don't understand that. <laughs> wow, why do you go to the... I don't know. Anyway, it's been a good game. We had a first half that was unbelievable. I don't think any of us coming to this game tonight would, was going to expect the hand to be tied at halftime. It just ran out of juice or something. Or, or, New Canaan got pricked up real hard in the third period. That fourth down play, they were looking to, uh, they thought New Canaan was looking to pass all the way and uh, tried to run it, but nothing there. And uh, New Canaan keeps their good back in there. Uh, they're uh, still showing him off for the <laughs> college yeah, coaches yeah, that might be here, I guess. I don't know why he's still in the game. The recruiting films here. <laughs> I don't know either why he's still in the game. We're down to four and a half minutes. The score is 35-14, New Canaan ahead of hand. Yeah, this is a place where I really can pick at uh, coaching. And, you know, you got a good lead like this, and you got a lot of young people on the sidelines who never get a chance to play maybe in another state championship game. Give them a chance. Put them out there. You know, I mean, you can't be that worried about even the hands team at this point with a 21-point lead, three touchdowns. You could give some people out there a little bit more of a chance to play. And New Canaan quarterback, quarterback keeper, keeper on the right side, and uh, Tom Hopkins did not quite bring him down. Finally, a first down. Finally brought down by uh, Chad Davis. Tom Malik. Oh boy, 
right, Tommy almost had him. That was uh, close, but he didn't quite quite wrap him enough on the leg. Third down and one for New Canaan. And wants to get that ball badly. At, uh, well, I don't think there'll be a secret on this play either. Number 11 will get it again. Yeah, Way number wide. Number 11 goes to the left side and uh, turning the corner over there. Breaks the line of scrimmage. And he he's, get the ball. he's stood up by Peter Lawler. And Lawler wraps him up. But uh, first down. He did something to punch the ball out of his arm when they wrapped him up like that. But didn't quite happen. First down and counting. New Cannon has a ball at about the uh, 27. Clock is running. We're down near three minutes left in the ball game. And New Cannon's pretty well got this game put away, 35-14, but they still got their first string backfield in there at least. Oh and God. breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Finally dragged down at the 20. And a flag comes in late. A flag comes oh, in late. Uh, and players are clapping. That's going to come back. And a clip against New Canaan. So that run will come back. Oh, we'll take it. I don't know. I, sometimes this mentality gets me a little bit. <laughs> I mean, what, you know, the whole thing is, is that, yes, he's a, he's a great running back, but you don't need to expose him right now to, you know, a slip or a broken ankle or... I thought they were going to bring him off for a minute. Oh. Now they're going to bring him off. So first down and 15. More flags. It'll be first down and 20 now. Hey, just uh, every referee lost his hanky on that uh, one. <laughs> Whoever the I see the tackle was on the new Canaan side. <laughs> yeah. Procedure on new Canaan. Well, the last three minutes of this are going rather slowly Very here. Slowly. Is the, is there are a lot of flags being thrown. Hands tired, I can tell that for the guys, but just keep up, guys, keep up. Yeah, uh, right there. Wrap the him, take the ball, take the ball. And Rob Mason got his man helped by Malik and, uh, that thing. and Hevesy. It's one, th it's one thing to wrap, it's another thing to be punching the ball out of there if you can. But anyway. Rob Mason made the initial contact. That's my boy. That's so my boy. There. Rob the Brick Mason. Two minutes left in the game. He likes to go to the dinner play, play table like I do too, you know. He goes to the dinner table with a with a platter. All right. Defense. And new Cannon running to the left and finally tackled by uh, yep. Mike okay. Anderson. Better than time to carry. Spagnola in on the tackle. Yep. Rob Mason. Mike Salmane, they think they got the ball. Was that ball fumble, Frank? I didn't see it fumble. I didn't see it fumble at all. I think they were just whistling. And thinking. hand recovers the fumble well, out there. How about that? How Some, about that? Somebody rooted it out underneath yeah, of that play. Yeah, that's what we were after. That's okay. That's good. <clears throat> Out I go, guys. So hand with the ball back at the 34 with a minute and a half left in the uh, ball game. The only problem for hand is that... Uh, they're 21 points down right now. And not much time. And Gumkowski is going to air it out long. And intercepted by New Cannon. That's his third one of the night, I believe. Holy mackerel. And for Tom Hopkins down about the 25. And uh, good coverage by New Cannon. Yeah. Interception. A little bit on the throne, and uh, uh, that was a long distance for Mark to chuck that thing. But number, number 31, he really did. I think that's his third interception of the evening. That's a nose for that ball. in the ball game, they still got Silvestri in there and he's <laughs> carrying the ball. 
and going to the left sideline and got a big gain going. And first down. Peter Lawler plants him in the turf pretty hard, but he made a first down. He sure did. He went down hard. Spagnola in on him, too. Another CIAC action. Ledger. You know, if, if I was the young man's father. 44 to 14, Ledger. If I was the young man's father, I might be a little upset at that myself. We got a holding call on that play against New Canaan, so the, the uh, ball is going to go back. That's all academic at this point. It sure <laughs> is. It's at the 19, and we're inside of a minute left in the ball game. Here again, that kid's got a chance for a scholarship out there, and you're risking his anger. Oh, he dropped on the it ground. this time. <laughs> Silvestri drops the ball and, and gets it. piled up. All right. Okay, 33 seconds left. So yes. Henry covers the uh, fumble. So they left their star running back in there a little bit too long. He's a little tired. Yep. The clock is running. We're down to a half a minute left in the ball game. Now what do we got? Timeout hand? Is that what we have done there? We got a timeout apparently. For the last half minute of this game, Hand does have a chance to make the score look a little bit better. They're at about the 17. Gumkowski rolling, looking to throw, throwing long into the end zone. And incomplete out of the side of the end zone, aimed for Lawler. We have 22 seconds left to play. And, and, and we just up. got the announcement, Frank, that uh, Guilford had lost their uh, championship game to Ledger, 44 to 14. So two good teams in the short line this year. Um, uh, took it a long way, but both of them uh, are losing ending up losing in the championship game. That's right, and, and it's, it was a, somewhat of a surprise on both teams all the way. So, again, nothing to hang your head about. Gumkowski oh. going in for Burrell, incomplete pass. Yeah, that, that's Mike, too bad. Mike Peter, Burrell in and out of his hands. Real bad. He wanted that one. He did. He wanted that one badly. And Danny Guinepero, again, was out a little bit further past him, and he was wide open. I don't know that Mike would have gotten, gotten into the end zone with that, but... Because there were a couple men right on his back and he caught it, but nonetheless, had the opportunity. Third and ten for him. We got 18 seconds left. And Gumkowski rolling right, being pressured. Gumkowski going to run it. And he's down, uh, should have a first down. They got to call timeout quickly, and I guess they did. That's good. Stop the clock with nine seconds left in the ballgame. Yeah, I think the hand faith would like to see him put it in the, for one more time. I wonder who Lou is. I know. <laughs> Maybe the coach. Daniel Hand uh, with a first down at the six, but they got nine seconds left in this ballgame to make the score look a little better. Tomkowski rolling right. Now he throws it incomplete. Clock stopped at three. Got one more play. Boy, <laughs> well, that's a lot of green over here on this left side. <laughs> I don't know, head is, uh, I don't know, is that right brain, brain oriented or something? I don't know, but <laughs> everything moves to that right. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know. I, I'm excited that we're at this game. Like we said earlier, September, we wouldn't have thought we would have been here, so. Last play of the season for Hand and Gumkowski is rolling to the left, and he is nailed in the backfield, which will run out the clock. Final score, New Keenan 35, Daniel Hand 14. Well, we'll wrap up quickly here, Frank. Uh, an excellent season for Hand, probably better than they would expect. Coming into the season with uh, a lot of sophomores and juniors, but uh, they finished the season with nine one and one record. Hey, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think this is, like you say, and we we weren't expecting to come anywhere near this close. They have a patch to put on their shoulder also, which says Coastal Conference champions. So it's been a great year all the way. We've had a lot of good times from it. And they played an excellent team tonight in New Canaan. Just coming up on the short end of the scoreboard. They played them even for the first half, 7-7. Seven
What? In the second half, uh, uh, with New Canaan's big squad and a lot of players, uh, it kind of wore hand down and uh, wanted going away a bit. So the final score is 35 to 14. This is Kent Sprague with Frank Tordoff. And thanks to Steve Fust and Paul Sprague for operating the two cameras tonight and for helping do the edit work and the blimp shots and everything else. It's been a very good season. We'll sign off and say it's been enjoyable all the way. Close the game's an old fashioned, you know what? Just in the night, guys. But it's something that you can learn from. I hope that you will. I'm sorry to be senior, but you have to go out on this note. Before the underclass do we have time left, I hope that you will dedicate yourselves to being football players. And we will talk more on Tuesday what that dedication is all about. Because we were lacking it to some degree this year. We were lacking it. We didn't have complete, total, every single snap, every single down, every single day. They did. And I want you to look and I want you to see what the difference is. That is what you get when you do that. This is what you get when you don't. You came here, fellas. You came here, as I told you a week and a half ago, on what God gave you. You came here on what the good Lord gave you. And you should be very proud because you came a long way, a lot further than a lot of people would have expected you to come. But if you want to get over the top, if you want to be in the championship circle, it will take a little bit more out of you who will return next year. For the seniors, I apologize. And I'm sorry that we could not do it for you. And I hope that the rest of these guys feel the same way. Because there's nothing like as a senior going out on top. But for the rest of you fellas, you should have a 100% commitment to improve yourself so that this may never happen again. And that can be the only message. You, hey, you guys, you got... We got silver medals, we got a silver plaque, okay? And I want each one of you to think about this silver plaque for the next 12 months, okay? Because one year from today, you will have another opportunity to be here. Let's do it, guys. One year from today, you will have another opportunity if you want to be here. But it will take a special effort throughout the year and throughout the season next year. But you can do this again. Hey, fellas, let me tell you something. This is a much better end than we could have expected. This is a much better end than we expected. Got in free. Okay? You got in free. You're going home with something, guys. There's 12 teams that are going home with nothing. We're going home with something. We have to hold our heads up and be proud that we're here on this field tonight and that we're in a championship game. The rest will have to take care of itself. But for these guys, I'm going to tell you, for five seniors, fellas, who it's played, over. okay, for five guys, they had a hell of a responsibility. And boy, did they shoulder it. They shouldered it with pride, and they shouldered it with dignity. And for five guys to lead a group of juniors this far, boy, you guys owe them a tremendous debt. You owe these seniors a tremendous debt that you will not be able to repay them. But I'll bet there's one way you can repay them. I'll bet that you get the goal next year. year for them. I bet that you can dedicate yourselves right now to being back on this field next year and winning this championship and inviting these guys back to watch you do it. I bet drivers. that you can do that. Do it. Right? Yeah. And that's where you got to be right now. A winner will do that. A loser will feel sorry for themselves and go in a hole. A winner will do that. And you will be winners, guys. You will be winners because you play for hand high school. That's why you will be winners. And I will promise you, you will be winners, just like you were this year. But you will be, you will not be standing on this side of this corner next year. You will not. You have my sworn oath to I swear to you, you will not be on this side of this plaque next year. I don't care if the New York Giants are on this because you will be a hungry football team ready to go. Hey guys, you can uh, share some time with you folks if they're here. We want to get inside, get our equipment together, and get home as quick as we can. Okay, fellas, good job. Okay, what we're going to try to get right here, folks, is a little bit of the press press coverage of Coach Philippone after the very, very tough loss, but but nonetheless one to be proud of. We'll get a few words that are coming out of this press conference. Uh, it would have been a little bit different anyway. I think we would have had a little more momentum going into the second half. 
uh, and that might have carried us uh, a little bit better than uh, what happened here. How hard is it on the defense and momentum-wise, their first two scores, big plays? Yeah, well, you're driving down the field, not getting the plays you want to get. Right. Quick strikes, is that, do you see any sad? Well, they're, 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 a big, they're a big play team. They've been a big play team all year. It's been Sylvester, break away, go 40, 50 yards, uh, throw a long pass, do something, uh, you know, uh, like that. Uh, they're also a team, obviously, that can drive the football, but the bottom line is they're a big play team. We knew they were going to, we knew Sylvester was going to get his yards. We didn't know we didn't know he was going to get as many as he did, but we knew he was going to get his yards. And you can't, you're not going to take a kid like that and shut him down. And, I mean, or the big plays, though, did they kind of take some of the? Oh, of course they do. I mean, you know, we're playing good defense and we're hammering away at him, and they toss the ball out there, and the kid goes 65 yards. I mean, it was easy. It didn't it didn't take any wind out of there. It certainly didn't take any energy out of their offense to do that. Um, so yeah, oh, that that hurt us. That hurt us in a big way. Were you and surprised that, at all the way Sylvester was able to bounce off tackles? No, no, <laughs> not at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, he is uh, he's an outstanding running back, and uh, you know, we're very very you know, we're very very happy that we got to see him from the side from the ground level view because I think that he is as good as anybody I've seen run the football all year long. So he's he's terrific. Coach. September 17th, the first game of the season. We're all worried about what kind of a year is going to be. How about giving us a, you know, in a half a minute, what, what happened between then and now? Well, I just think that this team improved tremendously. I think if you take it from, I tell the kids in the locker room, if you go from where they were to where they are, they came a long, long way. And I think that, uh, you know, I'm very proud of them. Uh, they, they could have played better tonight. They, they should have played better tonight. But I'm very proud that I'm standing here on this Astro turf field today with a team that has five seniors on it and 25 players, and that we won nine games, tied one, and lost one to a great football team. You're and right. I, you know, I mean, I, I have nothing to, and these kids and I and our program has nothing to be ashamed of. And we are not ashamed of what, what occurred here tonight. We, uh, we are ashamed that we didn't play better. But uh, the outcome is the outcome, and we'll live with it. But we will get better. We'll be better next year, I can guarantee you that. We will be a better football team next year. Can you tell better. us a little bit about the Super Conference? That we're yeah, be well, we're going to have to be a better football team next year. <laughs> Super Conference, or else we're going to have five losses instead of just one one loss and a tie. So, so you guys have done a great job, by the way. And I want to thank you, Frank, and, and the folks who put this thing on. It's been a great year. I finally enjoyed and have really started to watch a little bit and have enjoyed it and uh and we'll look forward to seeing this one because we didn't take a video so this is the one that counts well, you know there's a lot to really be proud of with right. the kids and we're, we're excited for them and they gave us one more game than we thought we were that's right this you got year. the extra game so we're happy about that in the Thanks. locker room give them all our best we will we'll give them your best everybody go with me we'll sign off for one last time for the 1993 season frank it's uh, been a pleasure